Well, it's time now for a health report and joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Mudu. Hello, Lino. Hello, Vincent. The United Nations say the number of babies born in conflict zones has increased by more than 125,000 this year. According to data released by the United Nations Children's Fund last year, 16.4 million babies were born into conflict zones. This year, it has risen to 16.6 million. That figure translates to one in eight of all births worldwide in 2015. UNICEF says that children born in war are likely to suffer unhealthy emotional and cognitive development and are more likely to die before age five than are children born elsewhere. Experts say babies may also suffer if they were conceived as a result of rape committed in conflict. Next year, the UN agency says it projects an increase to 16.7 million babies born in conflict zones. Over 2 million people in South Sudan have fled their homes to escape conflict and are now facing hunger due to a crisis triggered by the nation's ongoing political conflict. Two years of conflict has mostly affected civilians in the northern oil-producing unity, Jongli and Upper Nile states, where hunger has become acute. Conflict, high food prices and the worsening economy has pushed 4.6 million South Sudanese into hunger, according to an analysis carried out by aid agencies and the government earlier in the year. Humanitarians say malnutrition is now at catastrophic levels and there is a risk of famine in some places. The harvest is poor this season, so as a, as a result, uh, we predict the hunger gap will come early and there will be a shortage of food uh, to, this, uh, to the displaced uh, people as well as the host community. Humanitarian agencies say the conflict has killed thousands of people and seen over 500,000 others flee the country. Now, the Togolese government recently destroyed more than 24 tons of imported tilapia a popular fish in most Togolese eateries. This happened following complaints about the fish containing highly toxic substances. According to experts from the University of Lomé who conducted the test, the fish contained high levels of veterinary drugs residues. When consumed, this can lead to fatal diseases. Analysts say the market for tilapia in Togo is large and lack of domestic supply is encouraging illegal imports from China. Under the watchful eye of Togo's Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, hundreds of boxes containing tilapia fish imported from China were found to be unsuitable for consumption and set on fire in a large pit. This stock contained high levels of veterinary drugs. They contain 28% of harmful veterinary drugs, when the maximum allowed is usually 10%. It means that these products are not suitable for consumption. I would say that they are very dangerous for public health because they contain cancerous elements. People no longer want to eat fish and I must confess that it has affected my business and profits. The authorities need to do everything in order to prevent bad products from entering our territory. We're suffering and have no money to go to the hospital. And that's our Africa Health Report for today, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, Lino. Uh, be sure to watch uh, Lino Mudu's Health Reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.